it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hi everyone, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks, and in this video I want to take you through how to factor out the highest common factor. Before we get into actual factorising, I want to have a quick brainstorm around dividing some algebraic terms. So let's say I asked you to do 4x divided by 2. Well, hopefully people would think, okay, half of 4x or 4 divided by 2 is 2, and I have an x attached to the end because I divided 4x by 2. Say I have another one, such as 12ab divided by 3a. Well, how would you approach this? I think most people would say, okay, 12 divided by 3 is 4. A divided by A is just 1, so I could multiply the 4 by 1 if I wanted, but there's no point because it's just going to stay the same, so we'll get rid of that. So A divided by A is just 1. And then I have a B left on top, so it's going to be 4B. So we can say 12AB divided by 3A is just 4B. In a similar sense, what if I asked you to deal with 9Y squared divided by 3Y? What would you do? There's loads of ways you can think about it, but what I'd do, 9Y squared is the same as 9 times Y times Y, divided by 3y. And now I'm going to go in and say that 9 divided by 3 is just 3, y divided by y is just 1, and I have a y left on top, so it's 3y. So if I have 9y squared divided by 3y, it's just 3y. And one more, what if I gave you 14x squared y, all divided by 7xy? Well, what I'll do again is think about 14x squared y as 14 by x, by x, by y, all divided by 7xy. And we'll divide the numbers. 14 divided by 7 is 2. x divided by x is just 1. y divided by y is just 1. And I'm left with an x on top. So 14x squared y divided by 7xy is just 2x. We'll be using this idea of division going forward in factorising with the highest common factor. So let's give it a go. Let's go here for factorising using the highest common factor. I have 4x minus 12y plus 16z. So I'm going to look for the highest common number variable or term that divides into all three of these. And I'm going to note that 4, 12 and 16 are all divisible by 4 and there's no variable in common so 4 is my highest common factor. And I divide in 4 into 4x or 4x divided by 4 is just x. 4 into minus 12y or minus 12y divided by 4 is just minus 3y. And then finally 4 into 16z or 16z divided by 4 is just 4z. So that's our factorization done. I have 4 by x minus 3y plus 4z. And if you wanted to do a quick check, if you multiplied out your brackets, you should get back out the original question. On to the next, I have 2a squared minus 4ab. And I'm looking across, both of these terms would have the number 2 in common, as 2 divides into 2 and 4. And I have an a squared and an ab. Both would have an a in common. a would divide into both of them. So first up, I'm dividing 2a squared by 2a. So 2 into 2 goes once. a into a squared leaves me with a. And then I'm on to 2 into minus 4, which is minus 2, and a into ab, which leaves me with b. So you can see there I get 2a by a minus 2b. And if I multiplied back out this expression, I would indeed get the original question out. Next up, I have a squared c minus ac squared. And if this gets a bit confusing, you absolutely can write it out as a times a times c minus a times c times c. And I'm going to look across these two terms and say, what do they have in common? Well, both of them have a single a, and both of them have a single c in common. If I divide my ac into aac, I'm just left with a. And if I divide my ac into minus acc, I'm just left with minus c. So you can see how that will work. If we divide our ac into a squared c, I get a, and ac into minus ac squared, I get minus c. And if I multiply back out these brackets, I will get the original question out. Last up, I have 3x squared y plus 12xy minus 9xy squared. So first I'm going to say, are there any numbers in common across the board here? Well, yes, 3 will divide into everything. Are there any variables? And there is. Both of them have at least an x and a y in common. So let's go ahead and divide in 3xy into 3x squared y. Leaves me with just x, because the 3 into 3 divides out, the y into y divides out, and x into x squared leaves me with x. And then I divide my 3xy into 12xy, which just goes a solid four times. So I get x plus 4 here. And then I divide my 3xy into my minus 9xy squared. So 3 into minus 9 goes minus 3 times. And xy into xy squared leaves me with y. Now it's your turn to try out some of these. Take some time and pause the video here and work through the solutions. Check in with the answers when they appear on screen.
In question three is an extra step. I've split up the 4AB squared into 4ABB. And similarly with the 2A squared B, I split it up into 2AAB so I could visualize how many of each variable they had just to help us figure out what is the highest common factor involved here. You don't have to do that step, but if you're a little unsure, it absolutely helps. And there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching.